Hi everyone. So, have you ever had that band, what you always like, but you notice nobody really talks about them? Or you always wonder why certain bands get talked about, but certain bands don't? Even if the band what doesn't get talked about is like a big factor in that sound. Why do they don't talk, get talked about anymore? Fellas, this is The Missing Music Files. Do do do. Do 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 do. Yes, The Missing Music Files is actually going to be a series I'm going to come up with for right now. Um. I hope you like it, and hey, if you have any bands you want me to talk about in this section, let me know. Today, the New York Dolls. If you never heard of the New York Dolls, you're in for a treat. The, how can I explain the New York Dolls? The New York Dolls were pretty much a band what started it all, to punk. And what was interesting about them... Um, they even came up with, they even kind of start the whole wave of what you would see in the 80s with, with these kind of hair bands. However, the newer dolls did not have that cheesiness with them. So, I wouldn't say they started it more, you get bands who what were trying to copy what they were doing. I think Punk Walk is a better fit for them anyway. Because they influence the Ramones. They influence um, a lot of bands, especially of the New York CBGB's era. So today we're going to be talking about the New York Dolls. The New York Dolls started because at the time, 1974, um... Rock and roll was pretty much becoming a dead zone for a lot of people. You know, this is the time of Pink Floyd and uh, aggressive rock and all those bands. You know, they thought rock and roll what was once fun and energetic and everyone can play and have fun was becoming very adult. Why rock and roll back in the day was... Very a teenager medium, but now it's becoming this really adult, kind of, almost cr classical music-like. And bands like the New York Dolls hated what rock and roll was becoming, so they thought, you know what, let's make a band. Let's make the songs about two seconds of Wink. Let's make them very chaotic, almost Little Witcher on steroids. And let's make a band. The New York Dolls. What's interesting about the New York Dolls? Even though they were very influential over a lot of ways. Keep in mind, even though they wasn't the first adjogenous band... They were pretty adjogenous, and they even took, I would even argue, even though I love Dave and Bowie, they did that whole adjogenous, like, thing better than Dave and Bowie, <laughs> because, man, they would come in and, ha and wearing, like, straight-up dresses and full-on makeup, they would do their hair, they would have the bow in their hair sometimes. So, yeah, this was kind of seen as edgy back in the day. And they were sweet men, but keep in mind, nobody was doing this, really, except for, like, Dave and Bowie and people like that. But even Dave and Bowie had to keep it kind of in the down low. But because the New York Dollars were kind of underground, they didn't care. They were just wearing that type of drag and all that stuff. Um... I'm actually going to put a link down in the searching of one of their songs called Personality Crisis. Which I know is probably their most famous song, but I think that's a song with best fit 
It's their sound, you know, just to get them in, just to get you guys into them if you like that sound. What's the interesting, most interesting about this is, um, whole thing is the reason, and this kind of brings the end of the band. The reason why they stopped being so big, they never really was big, but they were big around the New York area. The reason why they stopped being a force, I think, is because their their manager thought it was a good idea to, because you know they were kind of an edgy band. So what was edgy at the time? Well, he thought, let's dress them all in red clothes and put a hammer and sickle in the back. They wasn't singing about being communist, but they were trying to be edgy. And that's kind of what killed the band, because they were already edgy, really. And I think the whole communist thing just kind of didn't stick with a lot of people. Nowadays, it would probably be, be okay, you know, if they would do it now, but... Back then, it didn't really came, and again, it wasn't communist, but, you know, it was just those things where you just didn't talk about those things back then, you know. So, yeah, that was the first episode of the Missing Music Files. If, again, if you have a certain band, if you have, like, a certain band what you want me to cover on here, I have a lot of them, but if you have a certain band you want me to cover there, uh, I'll look into it. If it's easy to find, I'll look into it, and yeah. Have a good day, and bye.